This bus here is uh, it's identical to what we were on. Mm -hmm. uh, forgive me forget if I get emotional. This okay. actually is the first okay. long run I've done with this bus. Mm -hmm. So you guys are a treat. Mm -hmm. But this bus is identical to what we were on. And what I've done is these are just kids that died in crash uh, where they were sitting at. And my picture's on the sixth seat where I was sitting. I'm the only survivor picture. And we have these three. When no one ever could place where they were sitting. Uh, so, and what I like to do is show, we pulled pretty important pictures out of our documentary. Mm -hmm. And it shows mainly me, some of my injuries, and just a bit of the story. And then I show that, because a lot of people, it's 35 years now coming up in May, they don't know the details, they don't remember then no one knows that in the mix of all this my father was a drug addict mm -hmm. so he was an alcohol and drug addict so in the midst of all that trying to deal with this you know that's why i love talking to young people especially where does your mind go to how do you get through all that mm -hmm. i grew up just messed up but went through a lot of crazy stuff but 33 gave my life to christ mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. what i didn't know was the journey he was going to give me so, because th this right here is, I, I tell people all the time, you don't know what God's going to do with you once you fully submit mm -hmm. in, in, in the worst of your, your tragedies. Yes. You know, I spoke to our high school yesterday, 600 kids. And wow. This culture is generation, they go through so much. And, and I, I, tell, I get it. I'm not trying to be hard or anything. I said, but you're talking to a 50 year old, 15 year old because they get mm -hmm. to see you that I made it. Mm -hmm. yeah, like I said, so it's just it's turned into quite a testimony because I didn't plan mm -hmm. on becoming a bus driver 13 years ago. I didn't plan mm -hmm. on doing this, but God said. Do mm -hmm. you only, work with a police force too, or you just kind of minister with them? Minister, if they they do a lot of functions, and my story, especially where we're at, everyone knows who I am. So mm -hmm. they do uh, mock crashes. Mm -hmm. uh, on the military base there, on the bus, the, the guys truck the hills. How old was you when this happened? 15 years old. Wow. Goodness, you're like the same age as most of our youth group. Yeah. And, and that's what uh, a lot of these kids don't understand. You know, they, mm -hmm. they go through stuff and it's like, I get it, but phew. And my best friend, I hate to tell, her, tell you guys, I, feel, I, I love sharing with the pastor before I get there. But my yeah, best so friend good. that invited him on trip, he died that night. Mm. Oh, wow. And he, mm. and he is actually the reason that our little crew went on the trip. Mm. And awesome testimony, he went to the church to give his life to Christ for uh, as a Mother's wow. Day gift for his mom. Mm. And he found out that the church took the trip. And we just found out recently in the last couple of years, that's the first year they opened up to their youth group kids to invite their friends. That's why we had so many. 67 people. I've had two or three different people tell me that they were a bus, two buses, yeah. a bus behind, a bus ahead. Yeah, two it bus. was. It's like, I guess it was a whole youth convention or youth group's day that day. Yeah, that's what it was. This is beautiful, Quentin, that you're sharing, you know, their stories too. Mm -hmm. With their. We just recently, in the last couple of days, reached out to the other survivors. I'm going to put all of their pictures on here. Mm -hmm. And we're putting UR codes on the outside of the bus. Oh, that would be nice. Especially for when you're traveling, people be able to connect with that. Well, like I said, uh, right now, it sits in the public. And right where we're from, it sits at a restaurant. Oh, How many cool. people was on this journey? I'm Six, somebody in this bus. 67 total. 67, 27, so you had 40 survivors. 40 survivors. You're okay. Wow. And out of 40 of us, very few talk about it. Mm -hmm. You might catch it. like a Vietnam story. It is. It, uh, we went through the survivor's guilt. You know, mm -hmm. We went through it. Wow. Uh, we've got a private Facebook page out of 40. This is Clinton's Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 
Were you sitting with Anthony Marks, Quentin? No, that's a funny, sad story. Mm -hmm. Andy died mad at me. Oh. Um, kids will be kids. Andy right. brought up here with a young lady named Pam Huey. Uh, I guess we will sit with Pam Huey on the way back. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I stole Pam throughout the day. Uh, and he was sitting right in front of me, and he was not talking to me. Uh, and that was another aspect of what I went through when I mm -hmm. held up and got out of the bed. Yeah. But uh, like I said, if you really believe in God's purpose in your life in the midst of a lot of things, the, the things that have happened to me and transpired in the midst of this, like even Andy, the woman I'm married to, my, Andy introduced me to her when I was 14. Mm -hmm. And we, we've been together ever since. Does this bus have lights on it in here? Yeah, all these lights. Oh, on. so you're talking about doing it at the end. I, yeah. I want you this way to do it. Because I know when it gets dark, that's when yeah. it gets dark. <laughs> now, you tell me. I mean, I don't mind. No, I want you to do it the way you want to. Yeah. But I was just wanting to let you know that by the time we get to that, it's probably going to be dark out here. And you know that, I'm sure, already. Yeah, I actually did a little bit of your so which one were you sitting at, Quentin? Uh, I, uh, six come up. There's actually pictures of me in that seat. That's me right there. Right here? Right. Oh, come on up. Okay. Right there. Oh. Where the cards are at. And that's me. And that scar on my neck is from a chain that melted into my neck. Oh, wow. Mm -mm. I was six weeks in the hospital. Two weeks life support. You all bust out the back, I'm assuming, then? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, the spirals up here and the mm -hmm. doors mainly. And this bus here was just going out with a bus. It is. And like I tell people, is I, I, I was kind of thinking that when you turn them lights, I know them diesels. Just put on all the cars we want again. And I got a little box right there. Uh huh. Oh, uh, it must be a good one because mine don't do that good. Yeah, go ahead, Mom. Okay, Greg. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Batteries probably twisted together. Oh, it's just got. Oh, they don't amp it together. No.